Yeah, so this thing started out as uh, the dog probably saying, yay, we're going on a trip, wagging its tail and all happy, yay, uh, we're uh, going to go out on a trip. And then all of a sudden it goes to, oh, can't take the dog. And then the dog goes from, okay, happy that he's going on a trip to, hey, what are you doing? Where are you going? What did I do wrong? Dog probably crying because his master left him, him or her. I mean. All right, what's up, yens, guys? Time for another video. Talk about something I saw on the TV news uh, today, the local Pittsburgh TV news. And I'm sure this isn't nothing new. This shit probably happens all the time. You, your local news or internet news probably talks about this and it's disgusting. All right, uh, made our TV news nonetheless. Uh, a woman goes to the airport, right? She's going, uh, not for anything important, okay? Uh, to go to a resort, that's what they said, some vacation in a resort. She goes to take her dog, which it's an, an, an emotional support dog. That's what pisses me off, and maybe some of you guys off the most, say, when you hear this story. Okay, so the airport don't let her take the dog on because it doesn't have, because she doesn't have the designated, the right type of carrier. So they denied her the privilege to get on the plane with the dog. And keep in mind, okay, when you get a dog, and especially an emotional support animal, it's not a thing, okay? It's not a possession. It's not a material possession. It's a thing. And the idea that it's an emotional support animal, okay? Uh, which also means a lot of you guys, whether you tune in and you like me or not, you're, it's your dog, your pet, I don't care what it is, even if it's a lizard or something. Maybe it's your buddy. It's like your baby, your buddy, your kid, part of the family, you know what I'm saying? And especially if it's a, an emotional support animal, things that are not cool to do, okay. Okay, so she she ain't allowed to have it on the plane. They tell her she got to get the designated the proper carrier, right? So what does she do? She leaves the dog behind, chucks it somewhere in the airport, abandons it, doesn't tell anybody, gets on her plane so she can go to a resort or wherever the hell she's going to have a good time. How could anybody in good conscience do that? How can you go somewhere like to a resort on a vacation or something and have a good time and actually have a good time? And how can you say if you're staying at a hotel too somewhere having a good time at a resort? How can you sleep at night? How can you have a good time and sleep at night knowing you abandon your pet, your emotional support animal, which is supposed to be like your child, your buddy? Evidently, this woman, it's probably was just a possession to her and an emotional support animal just for the sake of doing so. Evidently, it, even though she had it designated so, it probably wasn't providing any emotional support. She's probably one of them people that do it just to do it so they could... You know, just like you have those people fraudulently, uh, they want to take their dog places and they try to legitimize something and it's not even always, sometimes not even necessarily designated or on, they don't even have it on paper that it's a uh, support animal or a uh, service, like if it's a dog, a service dog, okay, yeah, I hear a lot of that on the news too. They do that for the sake of doing so to have a service dog or support animal, but don't care about the animal. It's a thing just to just to get over on society, or or they get a dog. It's like a thing, or oh, that's not. Oh, I don't want it to ruin my vacation after I paid all this money for an airline ticket and booked a vacation. Uh, if you get a dog, right, and a support animal, and you that should be your buddy, like your child. How can anybody? That should. In some cases, you should say the hell with the money. Hey, I spent it. I'm going to have to just uh, go get the designated carrier or whatever. I guess she didn't make the proper plans and she was presuming, okay, and didn't look into it and didn't have the right carrier. So she didn't want to um, not go on the vacation or anything. Or Oh, one thing that she could have did too. She could have called some relative from the airport. She could have said, oh, hello, uh, 
Uh, can you do me a favor? Uh, can you come in at airport and uh, pick up my dog? Because I'm going to lose my ass on this trip. And I uh, can't take the dog because the carrier. Can you take the dog? She could have at least tried that, but no. But anyway, somebody like this, I guess they're going to, the authorities are going to get after her uh, when she comes back. But you know, if you got this far in this video, you know what people like this that do that to their dog should do? I mean, sh what should happen to them? They should get a butt spanking on live national television. This woman should, there should be a bunch of female police officers turning her over their knee and spanking her butt with a belt strap over live national television. I mean, cancel Big Brother and cancel Survivor and give people what they really want to see. I mean, spankings over live national television because that's what they should do. I don't believe in police brutality or anything like that. But stupid people should get spankings over live national television. Time we, like, uh, show people in other countries that we mean business instead of being a joke. But, uh, I'm like... I mean, like, that's your pet. It's not a thing. And I'll say once again, uh, like, uh, even say any of you guys watching don't really like me either. Hey, if you got a pet, I don't care if it's a lizard, dog, cat. You don't do that shit. And what do you think is going to happen when you just leave it in an airport? You think, uh, oh, I don't know who left this dog here. Uh, like that they're not going to find you, you know what I mean? Uh, stupidity. Complete stupidity.